This video shows a snail that I found on a bucket that was inside my house on 26 May 2016. Initially the snail was tucked all the way inside its shell. I wanted to put the snail outside while keeping the bucket inside, so I pried the snail off the bucket and put it onto a leaf. After filming for a few minutes, I let the snail outside. Here's some information on snails quoted from the Wikipedia article. Quote, snails can be found in a very wide range of environments, including ditches, deserts, and the abyssal depths of the sea. Although land snails may be more familiar to people, marine snails constitute the majority of snail species and have much greater diversity and a greater biomass. Numerous kinds of snail can also be found in fresh water. Most snails have thousands of microscopic tooth-like structures located on a ribbon-like tongue called a radula. The radula works like a file, ripping food into small pieces. Many snails are herbivorous, eating plants or rasping algae from surfaces with their radulae, though a few land species and many marine species are omnivores or predatory carnivores." End quote. The Wikipedia article on land snails explains more. Quote, the majority of land snails are pulmonates, i.e. they have a lung and breathe air. A minority, however, belong to much more ancient lineages where their anatomy includes a gill and an operculum. Many of these operculate land snails live in habitats or microhabitats that are sometimes or often damp or wet, such as, for example, in moss. Land snails have a strong muscular foot. They use mucus to enable them to crawl over rough surfaces and in order to keep their soft bodies from drying out. Like other mollusks, land snails have a mantle and they have one or two pairs of tentacles on their head. Their internal anatomy includes a radula and a primitive brain. In terms of reproduction, the majority of land snails are hermaphrodite have a full set of organs of both sexes, and most lay clutches of eggs in the soil. Tiny snails hatch out of the egg with a small shell in place, and the shell grows spirally as the soft parts gradually increase in size. The age of sexual maturity is variable depending on species of snail, ranging from as little as six weeks to five years. Adverse environmental conditions may delay the onset of sexual maturity in some snail species. Prior to reproduction, most pulmonate air-breathing land snails perform courtship behaviors before mating. The courtship may last anywhere between 2 and 12 hours. In a number of different families of land snails and slugs, prior to mating, one or more love darts are fired into the body of the partner. End quote. Another page has more details on love darts. Quote, With some snail species, when they're ready to mate, there is a rather shocking turn of events. Each pierces the body of the other with a long, sharp spear called a love dart. Ouch. This, of course, begs the question why. Apparently, it sexually stimulates them, or at least serves to announce it's time to mate. More importantly, it prevents a minor catastrophe. It happens that more than 99% of the millions of sperm they'll exchange are internally digested before finding their way to the safety of the storage pouch. This, needless to say, reduces the number of fertilized eggs in a major way. The love dart is nature's rather extreme solution. It transfers a mucus that seems to prevent a snail's body from digesting so much semen. Most snails don't see all that well, so one-third of love darts miss their target, or fail to penetrate. Do the snails seem to mind being harpooned? Yes, actually, they do. There's research indicating that snails frequently jostle in an effort to stab but not be stabbed. End quote. Returning to the Wikipedia article on land snails, quote, Each brood may consist of up to 100 eggs. Garden snails bury their eggs in shallow topsoil, primarily while the weather is warm and damp, usually 5 to 10 centimeters down, digging with their foot. 
After two to four weeks of favorable weather, these eggs hatch and the young emerge. Snails may lay eggs as often as once a month. Most species of land snail are annual. Others are known to live two or three years, but some of the larger species may live over 10 years in the wild. In an attempt to protect themselves against predators, land snails retract their soft parts into their shell when they are resting. Some bury themselves." End quote. Finally, this page adds that, quote, land snails take advantage of whatever food they find within crawling distance, and there's a lot of variety in what they eat. The majority are herbivorous and graze on plants, fungi, and algae, or omnivorous, eating both plants and meat. There are a few predator species who eat other snails and nematodes, tiny worms. Snails will also eat empty snail shells, sap, animal droppings, even inorganic stuff like limestone and cement for the calcium content. Predators include mammals such as rats, moles, badgers, and humans, as well as birds, toads, frogs, crabs, turtles, beetles, and ants." End quote. Land snails have short and long-term memory of aversive events. Many studies have shown that land snails display learning in various forms. For example, consider this study. Quote, a group of two experiments are discussed which demonstrate avoidance learning in land snails. Experiment 1 utilized the snail's negative geotaxis and its chemoreceptive characteristics and required the snail to climb a vertical pole which contained a quinine-saturated loop of thread at the top. Experiment 2 substituted electric shock loops for the quinine. Snails in both experimental groups manifested progressively increasing climbing latencies and avoidance responses throughout five successive training sessions and a one-week retention test. Control animals which received non-contingent quinine or shock did not show evidence of learning. These results provide evidence of rapid avoidance learning in gastropod mollusks." End quote. 